please go subscribe to the Rumble channel for Franchise Sports TV under the name FSTV22. Now, I'm using that Rumble channel for any purposes of me getting kicked off YouTube and also for more of my spicier joints. It's free as well. I have the freedom to say whatever I want to say as well. So go subscribe to FSTV22. That is Franchise Sports TV 22 on Rumble. To this segment of being petty about the Lakers. If you're living in Milwaukee right now, the Bucks game tonight against the Utah Jazz tickets are as low as $7. Tickets are as low as $7 because who wants to watch two 1 and 6 teams? One team is 1 and 6 for a reason. The other team, I don't understand why it's 1 and 6. If you look at the roster on paper. But anyways, let's get into this Lakers. So, the Lakers played the Memphis Grizzlies in Memphis. And guess what? No AD. AD turned into his, sorry, to his uh, alternative persona, Mr. Glass, on Monday night. And didn't play because I think it was an ankle injury. So he wasn't playing. So what does that leave LeBron? That leaves him by himself with the rest of the team. And guess what? Did they win? Absolutely not. They lost 131 to 114. Yes, they did. And some idiots said, oh, you got to speed up. You're talking. No, 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 no. You don't tell me what to do on my own channel. Mm -mm. I can talk as slow as I want, and I can talk as fast as I want. I don't give a damn what you think. So I don't give a damn. Shut your asses up and mind your business and know your role. But anyways. They lost 131 to 114 to drop to four and four. So what does this tell you about the Lakers while AD? They suck. And LeBron is not what he once was anymore. Actually, before AD was even on this team, he wasn't once he he wasn't it anymore. But don't let the numbers fool you. They ain't gonna fool everyone. He went 15 for 24. Six for 11 from three, three for four from the free throw line, seven rebounds, six assists, and he had 39 points. But guess what? He had five turnovers. He had one lazy ass pass. Every guy I watched so far, he passes just one lazy ass pass. I'm like, why are you passing that? But, anyways, he had 39 points. Jackson Hayes, the white beater. Instead of Anthony Davis, of course, he was hurt. He played in his position. And dude, he did what he could. Eight points in 35 minutes, three for six. Ten rebounds, one assist. And he almost fouled out in this game. Because he really couldn't hold Jerry Jackson Jr. down there. D'Angelo Russell, D'Lo Snitch. 12 points to 22 minutes, and I think for the rest of the game, he was sitting on his bench looking sad as hell. He did not play for the rest of his game after the third quarter. He's pretty much on the bench. He went four for 12. Two for nine. Brick City from the three-point line. Austin Reeves, the great white hope, or a great white, well, uh, the great white hope. We're going to call him that for now. Uh, 19 points, seven for 17. Once again, he's uh, he's showing his skills, the skills that he learned at the University of LeBron School of Flopping. Dalton Connect got in there, the rookie, three points in 27 minutes, one for seven. Brick City for him as well. Damn, he's one for seven from three. That's all he shot. Damn, try something else, my guy. Try getting to the basket. But it's hard to get to the basket where LeBron James has the ball in his head because he shot 24 times compared to everyone else. Well, also, Reese was the next second highest one. So, yeah, it makes sense for Dalton to connect to go Brick City like that. But then again, Cam Reddish off the bench scored 15 5 for 7. Well, I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's name. Christian Kokono, 
two points in 13 minutes. Fake ass Drake Gate Vince at six points in 23 minutes. What a waste. They really thought he was going to be something. He has not lived up to his potential. Kobe Bryant lost long son, 19 minutes, eight points, three for eight. And Bummy James Jr. went out there in five minutes in garbage time. Uh, two points from the free throw line. Brick City from the three point line in five minutes. One foul. That's all he did. So he got to play. Uh, like I said, Mr. Glass came to, into effect tonight. And Rui Huchimama did not play because he was sick. The Lakers shot 21 free throws. That shot, ter well, they shot, uh, um, what's below average from the three point line? Around 30%. That's what they shot. 44% from the field. Now, I'm going to get back to Bronny James later. Because something else happened in this game as well. And we get to the Memphis Grizzlies, a.k.a. the Ja Wicks. Oh. There's only one Ja Wick. And this is my first game seeing him play in a long time. Guess what? He gets hurt. But he had a lot to say about this game, post-game. He does not like this team. He hates this team. Because they knocked him out two years ago in the playoffs. In the first round, when they was the second seed, and the Lakers were the seventh seed. And then, I think it was last year, according to him, uh, he couldn't play because he was in hurt because he messed up his shoulder. He didn't like the way the Lakers, Lakers were bouncing around, dancing on the court. So he took umbrage to it and did the too small gesture, gesture to uh, LeBron. He does not like LeBron. He does not like the Lakers. And every time he plays them, he wants to destroy them. I like that attitude, Jawick. Just don't do it with a freaking you know what. But anyways, Jaron Jackson Jr. twenty points, six rebounds, three blocks. Had an amazing block. Well, I wouldn't say it's an amazing block of Cam Reddish, but it was a good block. One turnover. Uh, eight for thirteen. I don't know who this is. This is the first time I've seen him play. Let's see, what's his name? Santi Amadino? I'm bad with names pronouncing this. 11 minutes, 31 minutes. Who's this? Jalen Wells. There's too many Jalen's on this damn league. Jalen Wells, I think he's a rookie. I don't know what he is. 20.7 for 10. Uh, Zach Eady, 8 points, the rookie. 15 and 8 points in 15 minutes. I didn't get to see him much play. when I got to play. He was on the bench. And Ja Wick. He had 20 points, but he had to lead the game early because I don't know what it, the play happened so fast. I don't know what he was trying to do. I think he was trying to dunk and he fell to the ground and he fell awkwardly and supposedly he injured his hamstring. So he had to lead the game early. Uh, but it didn't matter anyway because this game was pretty much a blowout. Lakers, uh, Lakers were down by 20 in the fourth. This was a blowout. It wasn't even close. So they really need Jaw Wick. And you know, they got blown out by second stream players because Jalen Wills and probably Amadila, is how you pronounce his name, probably wouldn't be starting if there was for um, if there was a Marcus Smart, a Desmond Bain playing. So you got to take it in account of that because those two been hurt. Uh, for the bench for the Memphis Grizzlies, Brandon Clark six points. Uh, I don't know who this is. Jay LaRiva, 13 points. Huff, 11 points. I don't even know half Memphis bench. Uh, Luke Kennard, 6 points. And Scotty Pippen Jr., 14 points in 26 minutes. The Lakers cast away 5 for 9, 3 for 4 from 3. The reason why I mentioned him, because I think both him and Bronny James both went to Sierra Canyon out in Chatsworth, out in L.A., but I think they went at different times. But it's also, I mention this because you got to see two, well, LeBron's pretty much going to be a Hall of Famer. You got to see two Hall of Famer sons go at it, and um, Scottie Pippen Jr. is better. Let's just say that. <laughs> We're just going to say that. Uh, the other rookie, I cannot pronounce his name. I think he's from Japan. I think he played in the 2024 Olympics. Came out there in two minutes and scored two points. 
Um, actually, this time around, the Grizzlies shot two more free throws than the Lakers. Uh, they shot better from three, 50% from three, and 51% from the field. After the game, Socrates, J.J. Reddick, J.J. Redneck, uh, said everybody was good. I mean, everybody uh, was terrible except for LeBron. Everybody played good except for LeBron. Hmm. I wonder if this is, a, is his way of motivating the rest of the team that, oh, y'all suck except for the old-ass man that may be possibly on that Captain America juice allegedly but we don't know that's what he's trying to say so pick your guys asses up uh the bottom line is the lakers including lebron look tired they just went on this it was a four or five game road trip out in the midwest into canada canadia and even the young ladies look tired tonight so but there ain't no excuses around here because detroit had to play back to back they look fresh. Hot trash Kansas. Is this your goat? Hot trash Kansas can be your goat. Hot trash Kansas. Memphis is young. They look trash fresh. So what's going on with the Lakers youth? Hot trash Outside of LeBron. Outside of LeBron, I think everybody else is under 30 still. He's a bummy man. He's yep, a bummy yep, man. Yep, yep, he's yep. He's a bummy yep. man. Everybody's under 30. Jack says, I know he's under 30. D'Lo is still under 30. Austin Reeves is hell under 30. No, Dalton Connect is under 30. Cam Reddish is under 30. Maybe Gabe Vincent might be the oldest one outside of LeBron. I'm not counting Anthony Davis because Anthony Davis did not play. Let's see here. Oh, Bummy James. Oh, Bummy James. Oh, Bummy James. Man. Women. Sorry. Bummy, 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 Sometimes bummy, women just bummy, piss you off with the stuff they say. Bummy, 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 Sometimes you just be like, whatever. But he's anyways, a bummy man. He's a stay bummy focused. Man. He's a bummy man. Gabe that Vince is 20 is years old. So it's pretty much outside of LeBron bummy, bummy, and bummy, Anthony bummy, Davis bummy, being James. the ones over 30, bummy, 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 his team is young. Bummy, so bummy, James. Why there should be no excuses. But anyways, there's always giving excuses. But I'm sure they're going to feel... Ain't gonna like what JJ Reddick said or JJ Redneck said about them. Uh, their next game is back in LA, I think, on Friday, so they get a day of rest. And I don't know who they play next. Uh, it might be Toronto, from what I heard. But there's also one thing I also wanted to point it out in this game that has been constantly, constantly. Constantly over the last 15, shoot, 22 seasons that he's, he has played in the NBA, that uh, LeBron pulled a Kamala Harris in this game. And what I mean by that, he left early. He tried to act like he was going to stay towards the... Uh, this is what he did. He thought he was slick with this. So, towards the end of the game, game's a blowout, right? He's sitting on the bench. So, he tries to march to the locker room, right? And he bummy, stops bummy, for a minute so he can see the time wind down. He's a bummy man. He's the a signal to end of the game. Then he marches man. to the locker room with his security man. and everything. Bummy, while everybody bummy, else. Bummy, bummy, James. While everybody else. Bummy, 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 yeah, AD who didn't play. Uh, what's the other tall guy? I, I can't think of his name. He hasn't played. I don't know how long. Uh, I can't think of his name. Oh, Bummy James. Oh, Vanderbilt. Oh, Bummy yeah, everybody, Bronny James, oh, everybody Bummy out there James. shaking hands with the Memphis Why Grizzlies. Here goes this bastard Why into straight into the locker room thinking he's slick. Bummy, now, Bummy, if I Bummy, leave Bummy, right at the buzzard, Bummy, 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 like I'm in the middle of the ha middle of the he's hallway. I mean, man. the middle of the you know the walkway man. going to the locker room. He's a bummy man. That boy if I just sit right man. here, Bummy, right in between the walkway, in between the bench. I didn't leave early. I still showed good. No, you didn't. You still left. You didn't shake hands with nobody. You just walked right out. Yo, poor bastard, you. Yo, poor excuse for a basketball player, you. You poor sportsmanship ass bastard, you. But anyways, 
Why is he in the league? Bummy, 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 JJ Redneck fails again as the team goes to four and four in the season. And I think they do got Toronto coming again pretty soon. And I know Toronto ain't gonna like what they gonna remember what happened to him. I'm sure they coach well. Hopefully Toronto has all their players. And that Toronto in AD league? don't play. Why is he in the league? I don't mm. know. I they don't almost know. beat Maybe Toronto. I mean, Toronto was beat them with AD. Oh, Bunny so James. look out. Oh, Toronto might, might want some revenge. Oh, I think they play Toronto Friday. But anyways, LeBron's a poor sport. JJ Reddick still can't coach. AD is still Mr. Glass. Uh, D'Lo Snitch got benched. Austin Reed still flops. Bummy James still sucks. He's a bummy man. End of story. He's a bummy man. He's a bummy man. That boy is a bummy man. Bummy, 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 James. Bummy, 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 James. Why is he in the league?